life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. What can I say, guys? A monster episode in store for you today. A big reminder, by the way, giving away $1,000 to one of my lucky subscribers out there. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe right now. Lightly tap that subscribe button. Maybe you'll win 1000 bucks when we hit our next big milestone. Also, guys, and I'm pretty excited to announce this, uh, we've got a sponsor for today's video. So uh, here's the sponsor. <laughs> All right, guys, and the sponsor for today's video is actually Cove, the Cove commuter speaker to be exact. So I don't do product placement very often on my channel, and there's a reason to that. I don't like promoting products that I don't personally believe in and enjoy the quality of whatever I'm talking about. So when Cove sent me this speaker a couple weeks ago, I actually took some time to sort of get used to the product, see if I enjoyed the sound quality, all that kind of jazz, and see how it fit into my natural daily life. And the place that I've actually been using the Cove commuter speaker is in my mat room in my house. So I do a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in my off time. Been doing it about 13 years at this point. So I have folks over, we train, we grapple, we wrestle. I like to listen to music while I'm doing that. And uh, the Cove commuter speaker has been pretty awesome for that for a couple reasons. Uh, one, it's got a pretty awesome subwoofer on the bottom, gives a great bass sound when I'm rolling. It also has a pretty sick ergonomic volume control dial at the top of it too, to make it a little bit easier to switch volume if I feel so inclined. And honestly, the best part about it is it's wireless and Bluetooth. So I can basically set it up in the corner, turn it on, pair it to my phone and we're basically good to go. And here's the best part, guys. If you decide you also want one of these sick Bluetooth speakers by Cove, uh, I got a little code for you. If you use code Life of Palos when you decide to purchase, you get 65% off. So make sure to go check out their website, guys. It's coveaudio.com slash Life of Palos and use the code Life of Palos for 65% off. And a big thanks to Cove for being our sponsor for today's video. <laughs> Right, guys into our main story so we have monster news today I uh, just went up about 45 minutes ago on Instagram about the R8 replacement for Dave now this announcement seemingly comes out of left field we've not heard any mention of this uh, at all on the channel really uh, we've heard a bunch of other cars that were in the writing and all of a sudden we've got an Aston Martin Vantage wide body car that looks to be in the front running now for the R8 replacement for Dave so the first thing that we saw was on daily driven exotics Instagram story and it's actually Damon Fryer jumping on and giving us a bunch of information about what's actually occurring with the potential R8 replacement. Here are the videos. Yo, 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 what up, DD fam? Listen, Damon here. I think I found Dave's R8 replacement. Now, I didn't want to post it on Daily Driven Exotics because Dave will see it. However, he won't watch the stories unless Dave's in the stories. And so I put it on Damon Fryer's personal page. So go give me a follow and then comment on the post. Should this be Dave's R8 replacement? It's a wide body build, it's crazy, it's nuts. It's probably one of the crazier things we've done in a while. Big wing, and not the car you probably are suspecting. However, I think this is the perfect car, perfect platform for Dave. Just enough power, but not too much. So go to Damon Fryer, give me a follow, and comment on the most recent post. You'll know the car when you see it. So obviously trying to get people to go over to his personal Instagram account and uh, what he has waiting for us is, uh, is pretty wild. It's a render of a wide body Aston Martin Vantage GT3 build in the amazing new colors that the Aston Martin Vantages now have, that kind of like weird acid green coloring. And there's a couple really interesting points about the actual post that I think you guys will really find interesting. So Damon Fryer asks everybody like, should this be the R8 replacement? And here's the best part guys, Daily Driven Exotic responded to Damon saying that it should 100% be this car for the replacement for the R8 for Dave. That's a pretty big deal to say about a potential R8 replacement to be like, you know, 100%, this should be the car. I'm pretty pumped about this, guys. No one has really done a build like this uh, anywhere on YouTube that I can really find that has a prominent following. And it would definitely be a monster step up for Dave in terms of the R8 replacement. So, so here's the question, guys. Do you like the wide body rendering that we see here? Would you like to see Daily Driven Exotics have the Aston Martin Vantage GT3 wide body for or the R8 replacement, or do you want to see something else? Obviously, Dave has talked about having maybe a Mercedes AMG GTR on a couple other cars have floated now and again, uh, but this sort of endorsement from Damon and apparently Daily Driven Exotics too, if that makes sense, is the biggest sort of clue that we've seen so far to getting this car done. So put in the comments below, do you want to see the wide body Aston Martin Vantage GT3 build as the new replacement for Dave's R8? Let me know. All right, guys, skimming through the rest of the news, we've got an incredible video from Strat 
bad man uh, taking his Aventador to its uh, supposed limit, driving it to almost 210 miles per hour on a very clean stretch of road as part of a big event that they did where they tested out the top speeds of a lot of really interesting cars. You're definitely going to want to see this one. Uh, Stradman has some of the best camera placement I've ever seen for a run like this. Uh, you know, like an inch off the ground, like in front of the lip of the car, you know, doing drive-bys, you know, having all sorts of different angles. You're going to want to see this. It's one of the best videos that I've seen Stradman put out in months. And Houston Crosta has a really crazy video out, guys. Uh, he So he recently just bought a brand new Huracan Evo. Amazing car. Uh, got it off into rental right away, and it's literally impounded the first time that someone takes it out. Uh, go check out the entire crazy story. Buys one of the first Huracan Evos in the area, if not the first. I can't actually remember. Uh, and then literally it gets impounded the first time he rents it out. Pretty crazy story overall. And Donut Media has a pretty incredible story of uh, why Chevy waited 67 years to make the mid-engine Corvette and sort of the reasons behind that. Obviously, I've been on a big Donut Media kick lately, and uh, I really enjoyed this video. If you're still in the C8 craze, this is going to be a great sort of uh, well, trivia fact that you can bust out in front of all your car friends. Check it out. And next on our list, we actually have Amelia Hartford, who's putting the last modifications on her drag car build uh, before its first race. So if you've been missing out on the crazy stuff that Amelia Hartford's been doing, make sure to go check out this latest video. I'm, I'm excited to see her drag car actually get on the road a little bit and have some fun. So uh, get excited, guys. I'm sure it's going to be a pretty wild ride. And finally today, Gigi has emerged. Uh, after about a month of absolutely no posting on YouTube, uh, Gigi has emerged now, uh, having a really cool video about getting a new exhaust for her Porsche GT3. So if you've been missing out on Gigi over the last month and kind of wondering where she is, she's got a video for you. Make sure to go check it out, guys. Link in the description below. All right, guys, and last mention here. Uh, for a long time, I've been considering doing a meetup in Denver, sort of a life of Palos, uh, get your crazy car together, come on down. And I think I want to hold it at Ferrari of Denver potentially even though I have a McLaren strange thing I know so what let me know what you guys think would you come to a meetup if I gave you guys a couple weeks notice are you even in Colorado let me know in the comments below if you would come to a sort of Denver supercar whatever car you've got uh, meetup where we just kind of hang out chat about cars maybe get into a little bit of trouble but not too much uh, let me know in the comments below guys that's all I have for you today have a great day have a great rest of your Monday God it's Monday today anyway I hope the rest of your week is fantastic we'll catch you guys later and that's all I got bye